Alright, the last time we're running around Route 104, challenging a myriad of trainers. Somehow, there are a lot of double battles. Well, other than that, there isn't any highlight to mention about. Afterwards, we entered the Meteor Falls, and immediately, we came across a wild Sorak, and we caught it. As we went deeper into the cave, guess what? Team Magma was here. It turns out, they probably kidnapped the professor and snatched the meteorite off him, and then they intended to go to Mount Chimney already. However, more surprisingly, a few minutes later, Team Aqua also showed up, making the situation even worse out of my hand. Plus, I still have no clue what is going on. It seems like Team Magma is heading towards Mount Chimney, and Team Aqua is determined to chase after them, disrupting their plan. Anyway, we'll leave their businesses to themselves for a while, let them figure that out. I don't want to lay a finger in between their conflicts. Today, we are going to enjoy Catching Spray. Besides, we're so determined to evolve Ninkara to Ninjas plus Sharinja. Looking forward to that. See you guys in the Pokemon world. Alright, let's continue the journey on Route 115. So exciting. Oh, wow, Pokemon battle so fast! Alright, I accept it! My strongest skill is busting bricks with my four hat. Four hat busting bricks? Are you kidding me? Is that one of the drills? I don't know if you learn karate nowadays, you are supposed to do that. Ugh, that sounds painful! Okay, match up! Wow, my Azumarill is dying! Crap! Bubble Beam! What, but still cakewalk? No big deal, bye bye! Mm. Oh, my head is busted! <laughs> yeah, take it easy, seriously. That's your hat, it's not your fist. Or your elbows, or somewhere else. Your hat is so important. <laughs> Man. Oh, he wants a number, interesting. To impress me. Give me a rematch after I do my training. Okay, busting more bricks by your hat? Stop doing that, seriously. That's gonna hurt your brain. <laughs> Anyhow. I've been teaching my Pokemon karate. Looks like they will get a lot better than me. I'm excited about that. Oh yeah, it turns out these fighting Pokemons are so fabulous. They completely outplay the karate masters, black belts, or any other human beings. If you compete against them, Man, you can't win the match, you'll be thrown out. <laughs> anyway, alright, let's smash the rock, see what we can get here. Oops, somebody's calling me? Weird. Okay, Isabel. Hmm. Uh, hi, Billy, this is Isabel. Are you doing good? You should go home ever so often, though. Bye bye. That's it? Alright, thank you for checking me up. <laughs> What's the point of calling me? Just asking me to go back home, see my mom there? Well, indeed, my mom must be really lonely now because my dad is a jerk. He's a gym leader and he really goes back. Ah, oh, just leaving my mom alone at home. Man. Alright, I find a great bomb. Ooh, berries. Oh, and there is a double battle out there. Interesting. What the Neat. Let's see if we can find some hidden items on the rock. Nope. What? I believe there must be some hidden items. Let's use item finder anyway. There's no response. I'm so disappointed. Anyhow, let's join the double battle over there. First of all, I think I need to heal Azuma a little bit. Yeah, she is badly injured right now. Neat! Double battle! I have a rare Pokemon, would you like me to show you? You have disturbed my meditation! You'll be punished for it! Oh wow, such a blame. Come on, you started the fight. Well, technically I rushed in between you guys, so... Anyway, I'm sorry I disturbed you. <gasps> Zangus and Kadabra! Wow, dazzling. Well, I don't know if Ninkada can survive this. <laughs> anyway, let's try it out. Mm. 
Bubble Beam? Oh, Zangus? I think Zangus is pretty threatening. Kadabra, on the other hand, isn't as risky as Zangus, but Zangus is destructive. He can decimate us, I believe. And I think Ninkata has to withdraw. <laughs> Alright, Curlia! Pursuit! Damn it! Wow, well played! So Pursuit works exceptionally well on the Pokemon who intends to go back to Pokemon, and the power will be doubled. Uh, Alright, so let's use Bubble Beam on Kadabra, and Curlia will Psychic on Zangus. Wow, Sword Dance. Wow, that's frightening. Well, hopefully this can finish him. Ah, uh, not yet. Whoa, that really hurts. That's bug tight. Besides Zangus has used Sword Dance, the attack has been dramatically increased. Severfur! Oh, love it. Wait a second. I think Zangus and Severfur, they are enemies eternally. They fight whenever they see each other. How come they are in the same team? That's ridiculous. They're actually partners right now, raced by the same trainer. Ugh, blows my mind. Psychic and Severfur. Reflect. Ooh, neat. Ooh, one shot. Alright, one more water gun and let's just con light. Oh crap, recover, seriously? I still cannot use bubble beam, I believe. Oh yeah, my bubble beam is disabled. Ugh, crap. The water gun again. And uh, let's use confusion on this. Seriously, how many recovers are you planning to use? Come on, it's two versus one. You have no chance to survive. It's just a matter of time. Stop struggling. Ooh, confusion causes confusion again. Love it. Okay, Bubble Beam is no longer disabled. Neat. Kadabra is really speedy. Huh. He's actually faster than both Azumarill and Kuria. Huh, that's awesome. Ooh, Ninkana Gucci level 19. It's so close to evolution. Okay, he's learning something. Hold on. Mind Reader. Huh, what is that? Since it's the pose action to ensure the next moves hit. Oh, essentially this one is aiming at the target. So the next move will hit. Accurately, 100%. I don't think that's super useful anyway, but we can... Yeah, we can keep it. Let's forget about Pardon. I guess I already used this move. Counter! Whoa! I love this Pokemon! Man, that's the only ghost type from first gen. Wow, so nostalgic. Confusion would be good enough because Counter is part of Poison. So, Psychic type will be super effective. It's destructive. Uh, wow, Severper and uh, Zangus. Oh yeah, they are exceptional. I actually want them. Both of them. <laughs> you have broken my concentration! No one wants a full number? That's mean. I'm such a good trainer, come on. You guys need some exercise, buddy, right? I was meditating with my Pokemon, but this place isn't very peaceful. Uh, I'm... Again, sorry to disturb you. I don't mean to disrupt your meditation. <laughs> I have this rare Pokemon. It's enough to keep me satisfied. Well, yeah, your Pokemons are fabulous. They are very hard to catch and encounter. Wow. PB up. Neat. Well, we don't want to go down there because that's Rustbar City down there. If we go down, if we jump over the ledge here, there's no way back. We have to go all the way there around. So let's be cautious. But maybe we can find some hidden items around? 
Let's use the item finder. Ah, oh, no. Damn it! Oh, there's another trainer. Oh, speaking of that, let's take the uh, experience share from Ninkara, because Ninkara is growing to level 20, where she will evolve to ninja. And we need to leave a slot for Shit Ninja, because when Ninkara evolves, uh, it will branch out. In the end, we are going to have two Pokemon out of that evolution. So we need to make sure that we have an empty spot in the party, otherwise Shen Ninja won't be born. Cool. Hold on, wait, what? My bag is full. Are you kidding me? Man. Oh, I need to toss something? Oh, that's frustrating. Oh man, I don't know what I can throw away. Oh, maybe I can use protein and carbos. These ones are just like candies and consumable items that you use them on the Pokemons and their base stats can grow up. Something like that. So Protein is increasing the attack EV and Carbos is raising up speed, I believe. Yes, speed that. Cool. Okay, let's use Protein on... Wait a sec, I don't have any physical attacker? Iron? But I don't plan to have Iron in my team forever. So, okay, let's use Carbos. We can apply Carbos for Azumarill. Yep. So the base B stat has been raised. Beautiful. Now we should have the slot for uh, the experience share. Great. Fantastic. And uh, let's put Curlia to the first place, by the way. Yeah, because it seems like this girl is good at fighting type. And she seems like a karate girl. <laughs> so Psychic would be really effective on her Pokemons. Peach is my secret training spot! Don't go butting in! Wow, so rude. Come on, the beach is a public property, right? <laughs> you can claim it. <laughs> Hariyama! Wow, every fighting trainer now has this Pokemon. So tanky. So fearful, wow. Super effective. Ooh, drops special defense. Beautiful. Arm thrust, huh? It's not very effective. We can live with it. I haven't tried enough! Yep. Oh, she wants our number. Okay, fine. You're free to come here. In return, I would like to battle you again. Alright, that's the condition, sure. <laughs> the set acts as a cushion to reduce impact and prevent injury. This is the perfect place to train. Oh, that sounds so rational. You're right. The sand can be a great protection for um, training your karate skills, right? So you won't injure your knees or your elbows or the joints. Wow, clever. Last but not least, let's use item finder again. I'm so obsessed. With <laughs> wow, I'm so obsessed with treasure hunting. Hold on. The item finder is responding and it's somewhere onwards. Yeah, 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 no. Where is it? One more time. Okay, it's downward again? Wait a sec. Oh, we find it! It's hard scale! Neat! That's lovely. I think that's the only uh, hidden item, I suppose. Okay, better safe than sorry. Okay, cool. No response anymore. Alright, we have finished exploring Route 115. We don't want to go down there because we know that's Reservoir City. And let's go back to Falarber Chan because we need to deposit one of the Pokemons in the team so we can have the empty spot ready for the evolution of Ninkera. Let's do it. Ooh, let's run. Meteor Boss. Hey, Professor, you're still here? <laughs> go back to Falarber Chan. Alright, let's talk to the professor. Oops, another wild Pokemon encounter first. Oh, so many Solrocks. What is going on? 
I thought this Pokemon is precious, that's why I caught it immediately as soon as we see it. But anyway, oh, we don't have anything effective on it. By the way, Soul Rock doesn't have gender. Let's Psychic it. Nah, not a very effective, I knew it. Harden. Nah, <laughs> what are you doing? Confusion. Huh, <laughs> scratching my surface. Alright. So, wow. But that team magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at my chimney? Well, you handed over the meteorite to them, and now they had it to Mount Chimney. Perhaps they are going to cause some chaos and kick up a ruckus over there. I won't say it's all your fault, but I think you're just so gullible. You simply trust them and brought them here. Anyway, bye-bye. <laughs> right. We're out of the cave. Fantastic. Oh, let's actually ride the bicycle. Should be faster. Uh, but I forgot my biking skill really sucks. <laughs> Me? Ah, man. Come on. <laughs> Alright, back to Florida Town. First of all, let's deposit one of the Pokemons in the team. I believe we're not going to use Arrow in the short term, so let's deposit her first. Cool, now we have this empty slot. Oh, by the way, let's give the experience share back to Ninketa. Because she needs to evolve very soon. Experience share, give it to Ninketa. Or, you know what? Even better. We can use Ninketa for the body encounters. Yeah, let's train her a little bit. Ooh, Swablo! Love this one. Wow, can we win the battle? I doubt it. Let's cut it. Ugh, that little? Seriously? Oh man, I'm going to be killed. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, that's super effective, damn it. Screw you. Uh, oh, nice. This is just great. I fell asleep. Okay, I'm gonna run. It's not worth it. So, first of all, let's wake up Curlia. Man, I have two awakenings. Not too bad. It turns out Ninkana is too weak. We cannot use her to battle here. Oops, not cut. Man, I don't mean to use cut. Oh, but... By the way, you can use cut in the middle of a patch of grass, and that's gonna help you clear up the land. Oh, which is really fascinating. But that's not my intention. Let's switch then, so Curlia can do the battle, and Ninkada will just gain experience. Alright, let's actually go back to Meteor Falls, because there are stronger Pokemon. Ah, my biking skills. I need to improve that. Oh, man. Okay, I think running is actually faster than that, <laughs> considering it keeps bombing into all the obstacles. <gasps> Alright, see what we can have here. Ooh, neat! So rock. This can give us decent amount of experience. Wow, but we're kind of dying. Let's just calm mine first of all to beef up. Alright, then let's continue spamming confusion on Sorak. Oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, one more confusion. Oh, heat, bye bye! Hurdia, you're the best. Neat, level 30! So fast, skyrocketing.
That's the final stage of this evolution chain. <gasps> I'm kind of frozen. Oh, I'm speechless now. Wow, my Curlet evolved into a Gardevoir. Remember how much effort, how much time I've spent while catching routes in the first place. Oh my god, it's a happy ending. It's so beautiful. Look at you, Gardevoir. Man, oh, you're the best. You're the most handsome, most beautiful, most pretty. Man, wow. Neat. Beautiful. Wow. Well, surprisingly, my Gardevoir is a boy. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> anyway. Alright, the next one for evolution will be Ninkana. Wow, it's so exciting today. We're going to have a number of Pokemon evolve. All right, Ninkara, come on, you can do it. Oh, go bad! Wow, level twenty-three. That's pretty substantial. <laughs> so after defeating her, we should have a bunch of experience, and hopefully that's good enough to uh, help Ninkara evolve. Water gun, bye bye! Damn it, I flinched. Are you kidding? One more water gun? Oh man, Golbat is obnoxious! Bye bye! Seriously, this time, bye bye! <laughs> it took a while for Ninkara to evolve. Wow. We still need some more experience. Oh, come on, where are the wild Pokemons? Oh, come on. Show up! <laughs> no wild encounters for almost 10 seconds! That's shocking! Oh, alright! Oh, come on! Alright, Another Zubat! Doesn't give us much experience, but better than nothing. Oh man, we're dying. Come on, Ninkara, please go to level 20. Still not there yet? Oh, I'm furious. Oh. Alright, let's grind on Route 114 instead. And uh, Azumaru is dying, so let's switch to Lumber. Ooh, <laughs> interesting. Lumber versus low tad. It's almost like your older brother booting the younger one. <laughs> Anyhow, bully see, bye bye. Finally, Ninkara is level 20. It's time to witness the magic. Let's hold the breath. I know Ninkara is evolving. Oh, she does look like a ninja. Look at the mask there. Oh man, that's so lovely. And Ninja is learning double team. Love it. <laughs> okay, this is legit for Ninja to learn because Shadow Kong double team. That's so suitable for Ninja to learn. <laughs> All right, Mind Reader. I don't think Mind Reader is necessary. Okay, let's just pick that out. Beautiful! Oh, Ninja is trying to learn another move! Beautiful Screech! Neat! Oh, this one drastically dropped the defense of the enemy. I think that's very useful. Let's forget about Leech Life because this is super weak. 
cool. Oh, by the way, we got Shenzhenja as well. Look at that. Oh, neat. And Shenzhenja only has one HP. Cool. Now we have Shenzhenja as well as Ninjas. Wow, this is the beauty, this is the magic of this evolution. This actually remains a secret for me for such a long time because I just simply didn't know uh, the existence of Shen Ninja and I didn't know the right way to evolve or obtain it. But it's so interesting, one Pokemon evolves to two, and this design concept is just fascinating. And look at the HP base stat, it's just one. So I figured Sheninja is probably the shell, because when Ninkata evolves to Ninjask, the shell is the cost, it's kind of useless, but somehow the shell itself has the spirit, and then it becomes, becomes a Pokemon. So essentially, this is the technique or process of evolving Ninkata to Ninjas and Shen Ninja respectively. Hopefully you learned something. So basically, make sure that you leave an empty spot in your party while evolving Ninkata to Ninjas. Then Shen Ninja will be produced automatically. Alright, this is so beautiful. This is monumental. I love it. Finally, we kept the promise. We fulfilled that. And we evolved Ninkata to Ninjas and Shen Ninja separately. Oh, lovely. And that being said, Ninja no longer needs the learning machine. Let's take it. Fantastic! Now we can continue with the catching spray. Let's do it. Alright. So first of all, let's wander around on Route 114. See what are the new Pokemons we can find here. Not them yet. <laughs> Okay, let's have five more encounters here. If we cannot find anything, we move on to the next location. Ooh, Swablo! Maybe we can catch her. Wow, I love this Pokemon. Alright. Uh, I hope one water gun doesn't kill her. Let's see. Please do not die. Oh yeah, that's fine, it's safe. Let's probably use another Absorb. Shall we risk it? I think Swablo is flying type, so it resists grass types. So we should be alright. Unless we're critical hit. <laughs> we only have one Pokeball. Wow, but we have five Great Balls. It's alright. Alright, beautiful! We got Swablo! A Pokemon that has wings like cottony clouds after enduring winter in which little food is available, Swablu flocks move closer to town in the spring. Ooh, that's good to know. Oops. No, no, no. No nickname. I cannot memorize the nicknames I came up with, so I would rather having their biological name there. So easier for me to refer to. Ooh! Lumber here! Interesting. Hey, tomato versus tomato. <laughs> uh, I wonder what natural power turns to here. In the grass. Stop sport! <laughs> Love it. I missed. Crap! <laughs> That little? Well, I forgot Lumbra has really great special defense. Ah, uh, it's really tanky on that side. Water gun, haha. <laughs> I'm four times resistant to that. <laughs> Alright, one more bully seed. Bye bye! Decent experience. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, Swablu again. Oh, this time it's a boy! Oh, yeah, it's not fun. Oh, another one! So it's just Swablu, Lumber, and Lotad, I suppose. There's nothing more than that. Uh, wait, wait. Oh, 
Nusli! Wow! Let's catch this one! Oh, that's fabulous! Love it! First of all, let's paralyze her, because I know natural power will turn to paralyze. Oh, excuse me, stun spore! Hey, hey, hey. Missed again, seriously. Oh, man. How many times, Lumber? Okay, Lumber, please open your eyes. Hit it accurately. The target is there, right in your face. <laughs> oh, crap. She's using natural power. Have you got stuff? All right, kid, we're tired. I accept that. All right, so we need to weaken her a little bit. Easier for us to catch. Um, let me think. Oh, let's use Ninjask. Ooh, so handsome. Ooh, Ninja's ability is speed boost. Every time the speed will level up. That's pretty cool. It's unique to this Pokemon. One more time? Hopefully it doesn't crit a hit. Okay, cool. We need to use Great Bar. Neat! Fantastic! We got another new Pokemon, Nursley! A forest dwelling Pokemon that is skilled at climbing trees. Its long end point it knows is its weak point. Ah, like Pinocchio! <laughs> It's, uh, it loses power if the nose is gripped. Oh. Hmm. So I guess the nose area is very sensitive. If you touch it, a nose leaf might be infuriated. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last encounter. I don't want to waste more time here. I'm already paralyzed. What are you doing? Oh man, absorbed seriously. I hate it. Well, let's see. Please KO her. One more, one more, please. Yay! Bye bye. Alright, let's check out the water encounters in Meteor Falls. I want to actually catch Golbat. Ooh, wow, like I said, thank you for popping up. <laughs> That's my immediate agenda in the cave. Wow, we're actually weak to it. Uh, let's switch out to Pelipper. Oh, wind attack or oh, water gun. Yeah, let's weaken him a bit. One more water gun. Please do not kill him! Beautiful. Alright, nice range. Let's find a way to catch him. Uh, not sure if one great bar uh, can do the trick, but let's at least give it a shot. Please! Yay! <laughs> so smooth. We caught Gobat! Its fans easily puncture even thick animal height. Whoa! It loves to feast on blood of people and Pokemon. It flits about in darkness and strikes from behind. Wow, it sounds like a very sinister Pokemon. Oh, likes to ambush, likes to backstabbing. <laughs> anyway. Alright, we got Golbat. I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we have any other worthier Pokemon than Golbat here. Nah, just do that. And another one is Solrock. I think that's pretty much it. Alright, let's get out of the cave. You know what? Let's use Palipper as the first one because Thumber has been paralyzed. I hope this is new Pokemon. Oh, come on, Lumbra. 
Do you not paralyze me? I will be furious if you do so. <laughs> what a the math, that's fine. Alright, the next location I want to grind on is Route 113. We haven't caught any wild Pokemon except Spin that here, so let's at least explore it a little bit. Oh, Slugma, come on. I don't need it. <laughs> well, I already caught one, so... Alright, one water gun, send you away. Bye-bye. This music is kind of mythical. Hmm. Hmm. Spinda, seriously. I'm gonna run. I don't want to battle him. It's a waste of time. Spinda is the Pokemon that it takes a few turns to knock it down. It doesn't give you much experience and it's everywhere. I just don't like it. Oh, come on. Oh, it's heavily populated. My Pelipper Sano is really slow. <laughs> When it swings back and forth. Ah. Oh, Slugma again. Okay, let's try five more encounters. If there's nothing new, then we leave this place. Oh man, Spina, come on, give me a break. Seriously? Oh. Tell your families, tell your siblings, do not show up. I don't want to see you guys. Oh, eh. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. I hate it. I hate Spinda. <laughs> you know what? Let's clean all the dust on top of the grass. Let's make the whole area green. Oh, Slugma. Is there anything better? I remember I can encounter Skarmory here, if I remember correctly, in the old times. Skarmory only appears at this location. Well, I don't know if I'm lucky enough today. But that's a really rare Pokemon. Perhaps 1%? <laughs> Alright, we put the whole area green now. Look at that. Ah, scratching my head! I hear it! Oh, you know what? We need to head back to Mount Chimney anyway, so we need to go across Route 113 regardless. Also, in the process, we can perhaps have more wild encounters. Ooh, Senshu! Oh, that's a new Pokemon. Let's catch him! Oh, exciting. Finally. Oh, some variants, some diversity. I love to see that. <laughs> Well, make sure we don't kill him. Oh, that's a little tricky. Let's try one more win attack. It should be alright. Alright, cool. Oh, man. Wow, we don't have any Pokeballs. Seriously? Okay, great ball. Oh, that being sad, even though we encounter uh, a Skarmory, we don't have enough boss to catch him or her. Wow. Ooh, we caught Sanshu. When it curls up in a bar, it can make any attack bounce and harmlessly. The tide has turned tough and solid as a result of living in the desert. Ooh, that seems like a tough Pokemon, huh? Well, at least we got some new Pokemon here, not just Binda. <laughs> oh, wow, another Sanshu, sure. Well, we can kill her instantly because it's weak to water. Oops. That end. Alright, we're out of Route 113. Route 111. Oh, neat. So we are heading to Mount Chimney, right? Let's see, we cannot uh, go across the desert because we don't have the goggle yet. 
Sandstorm is vicious. Alright, I got it. So we need to use the fiery pan. Oh, it's actually easy because Palibre is water type, so it can water down all the Pokemon's gear. Let's just rush! Alright, we came to Mount Chimney! <gasps> this is open! Oh, that's cool! Wow! So we can go to the top of the mountain! 